through a season? Um, I like our togetherness. I feel like obviously we lost Lily, who was a really integral part of our offense, defense, everything. So we've kind of had to band together in a different way where a lot of people have a bigger role. It's just kind of more evenly divided between everyone. So I think that's brought us together a lot. There's a lot of team camaraderie and a lot of we talk about celebrating the little victories. So just being more excited for each other and I think it's going to be a good year. From an X's and O's standpoint, where you're not having Lily, because she was kind of a versatile big, can you guys get faster? Is it a little bit more up-tempo? Like, what, what changed from an X's and O's standpoint for this team? Yeah, I mean, I think um, it's known that we always play kind of an inside-out game, trying whether that's penetrating or throwing it into the post and looking for open threes. But I think, like I said, more people realize that they have to have bigger roles and be a little more consistent, which I personally think is harder to guard when you have – a lot of our offense was ran through Lily last year, rightfully so. She was an amazing scorer. But now that um, we don't have that one, just one dominating person, we have like five dominating forces in at all time because Emily is amazing and she has a lot of really good experience. And then obviously our we have a ton of good shooters, really good shooters. Um, so I think it's more just – there's a lot more ball movement, and I feel like last year we would kind of throw it in sometimes and watch Lily just like stand back and stand around a lot. So we've overemphasized moving on offense and throwing it in, getting it back out, and just like keeping things moving versus kind of being stagnant when the post has the ball and just like letting her go to work. Um, our posts have been really good about passing it out too, so I feel like it's a little bit different as far as ball movement goes. How are things different? Um, I mean, they've kept it pretty consistent for us, I think, just to make sure there was no, like, big dip when Coach Barnes left or anything. But I think it's uh, – Coach Nick is very much a player's coach. So he's, he's super encouraging, and um, we've talked a lot about body language and simple things, just like high fives, like overemphasizing those kinds of things. So um, he kind of lets us run the show a little more, um, I think – we're all kind of trying to feel out what this new, newer system is because a lot of the things we're doing are the same, but um, he has a lot of trust in us and vice versa. So I think he kind of gives us a little more free reigns to if you see something and you see a play that you think you can be called, you call it. Like I don't have to call a play every time down the floor. Um, he's super encouraging though, and it's it's been fun having him adjust into like his new role and then us kind of reacting to it. I think it's been a good combination, so. A couple of new girls on the scene this year. What have you seen from them, and do you expect to help this team out this year? Yeah, um, I think this is the first year in a few years where we haven't had like older transfers come in. It was Abby Liber, obviously a sophomore, and then some younger freshmen. And I say all the time that they're way better than I was as a freshman. They're they're honestly hard to play against. They go hard every single day. I think if I came in as a freshman and I had to battle against like six fifth years every day that would be a little daunting and might kill your confidence but they never back down they give us a run for our money every single day um and they're just that just really good teammates like I, I always we say in practice you're only as good as the last person off your bench or you're only as good as like how hard your scout team is going because without them we can't prepare for any team so they've been really amazing and they're obviously a super integral part to what we're doing because if they don't run the other team sets right, we have nothing to get ready for or go against. So they're like nothing short of super impressive for how young they are. Xavier Mar, what did you see from the film? Yeah, I mean it's a little different because they obviously they had a big coaching change. So we've kind of been watching like what their coaches did at Iona and then personnel obviously, um, who they are at Xavier and then they've had some transfers and different things. So um, they're athletic, they're tall, it's a lot of what our coaches say, but I think for us, of course we watch their personnel, but a big thing is watching film and then talking about what we can do best against it. So focusing on what we can control and what we can do against them versus like, oh, they're really good at this, so I hope like they don't run that. We're more like, okay, they run this, this is what we do that counters that. And just, it is the first game, obviously it's hard to have a lot of really good film for that first game, especially with a new team, new coaching staff. So just, I think this is a really good game for us to focus on what we've been talking about, which is everything we can control and not focusing too much on, hey, if they hit all these shots, we're losing. So it's more just like, if we do what we know how to do, then we have a really good chance. Is there a little extra motivation or these teams have always been really close, right? Is there a little extra camaraderie trying to do this without Coach Barnes to try and 
you know, be a closer team to try and pick up the slack while he's not here? Yeah, we've talked about um, we, we faced a little bit of, verse, of adversity already in the preseason. Um, we've had a few coaching changes and things like that. Um, I think it gives us a chip on our shoulder, but I also think we realize, and our coaches have said this, no one feels bad for us. Like we got picked third after all that happened anyway. So people obviously still have respect for us and still think we're gonna come out to play. So um, I think it put a little chip on our shoulder, just knowing, okay, we, we kind of lost this piece, but we still have all our players, we're healthy. We have a really good associate head coach who stepped up and is taking like big steps in that role. So I think for us, we play best when we have a chip on our shoulder, like the best we ever played in recent years was two years ago when we had a huge chip on our shoulder. So I think if anything, it's motivated us and kind of made us more excited to get started and show people like, we don't want you to feel bad for us because we want to kill you every game, so. Has, uh, has Coach Barnes impressed the team in any way since he's been here? Um, we've kind of been like giving him space. We, we know he has whatever with his family going on and we want to respect that. I know more than a few of the girls have reached out to him and vice versa, just kind of checking in. Um, we never want to be overbearing and I think he doesn't want to like mess with us mentally in that way as well, just um, talking to us too much. But we've definitely checked in on each other and we're, we're like that though as a group. We're very close knit and we're always checking on each other mentally. So nothing changes when that something is going on with the coach as well. So yeah, we've definitely checked in, but I think we're trying to respect whatever he has to deal with and then just hoping he comes back.